So you have to understand that to make a film, you gotta be crazy. Like, it's madness. Okay, everybody ready? Okay. Action! Position, hold it, hold it, and cut! Nee, wacht even opnieuw, helemaal opnieuw, opnieuw, opnieuw. Okay, yes. Okay, um, let's do this nocturnal first video of me talking about my filmmaking. I've been evolving a lot as an artist in the past two years, really, um, counting the pandemic and everything. So I just felt like starting a conversation. Also, I think I did something crazy. Like, I think that every filmmaker, especially every indie filmmaker, achieves crazy things. Like, making a film is insane. Like, the fact that you have an idea in your mind and you share it with other people, people become a part or take part to making this idea doable or, or tangible. It's madness. It's something that comes like something that is nothing that becomes tangible and you see it and you can, when you film it, you can touch it, you can feel it. And then, and then it's on your screen forever. It hit me because I made the first professional short film um, back in summer of 2020. It's been a great milestone of my career. It is still something that really um, shaped me as an artist. The film is officially out of the festival, film festival circuit, which means that now everybody will get to see it on the World Wide Web. I'm absolutely not stressed, not at all. So how it started is that I um, had this idea, I've had it for a long time, because the movie I made, which is called Sunday Nostalgia, Le Dimanche des Amis, which is like a weird story because the, like, I'm gonna do a lot of parentheses, okay. The title was A Work in Progress, and then my friend Simon went on the radio to like talk about the movie, and they just picked up Sunday Nostalgia, Le Dimanche des Amis, and then it just became a thing, so it was like, well, I guess it is like the title now. A short film, op, genaamd Sunday Nostalgia. So I have ondertussen Simon even on the line. Simon, a very good evening. So long story short, the film is about, you know, that moment in life when a chapter closes, all right? I thought it would be a relatable subject to talk about and it meant a lot for me. I really put a lot of my friends in it, meaning I can look at each character and tell, it's like a mix, one person is a mix of a couple of people. And I just went to my like friends and people I wanted to work with and I was like, hey, listen, I have no money. But I'm planning on doing a Kickstarter campaign to like get funds for this film. But it's gonna be like as we already start the film because I thought it would be a good strategy to already film some images and then like show it to people and be like, hey, yo, this is what we've done. If you like it, could you support it so I can pay people fairly? It was gonna be far from being a fair pay, but you know what I mean. But I also said, but just so you know, if you don't get the Kickstart campaign, well, I might not be able to pay you at all. So it's a risk and um, my out of their minds friends said yes. <laughs> and that's how we made the film. The place where I filmed the short film is also special to me because it's the roof of a um, temporary space here in Brussels that it's going to be destroyed so that's a very special roof to me <laughs> and um and also it's great to be able to film something and capture it forever knowing that it's going to be destroyed like soon and i guess this i could apply it to why i am a filmmaker why i like to direct films is i have this idea i have this feeling i want to capture and i can like like literally capture it in a camera and then watch it and rewatch it on a screen for my heart to like be happy. I mean, that's like magic to me. So when we actually reached the goal, I couldn't feel more privileged for the trust. And that was just a real boost of how that I really needed, I think, as an artist. The camera we used to shoot that. Wait, actually, I have it. This is the Pate 16mm reflex camera we used, 
which is a grandma, <laughs> which is a real lady cam. Um, what I like about this cam is that it used to be a TV uh, camera. Pate is one of the biggest film distributors today uh, of uh, films in France. But this camera back in the days, I mean, I've been told this by the guy that told me, maybe like whatever, but I like to think it's real, okay? So let me believe it. Uh, apparently Pate was in a, uh, a big financial crisis and it's by selling these cameras that they um, fought bankruptcy. So hey, I'll, I'll take that good um, omen, you know what I mean? So the film was um, set at, at twilight. Is it twilight when like the sun rises? Anyways, it was like set at sunrise, okay? So, and we didn't want to go like two mornings in a row. So the DOP um, thought of uh, filming the sunrise. Oh yeah, and sunrise was at like 5.30 a.m. because it was August, so middle of summer, so of course super early. Super smart, right? And then we would wait the entire day to pass by and then we filmed at like when the sun would go down, just like with other angles, right? And the light with the good color grading, the Zane did like wonderfully. It matched. We wanted to feel that the time was like frozen. So it really worked out actually. I'm very happy with the ambiance and just the mood in general. And, and when we watched the film for the first time, we um, discovered that the film, the one film that we shot at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., was, um, had a problem. So we had to reshoot it. We had a reshoot day, but by then we got the kickstart campaign. We reached the goal so we could actually reshoot it and buy a new film and, and that went well. The second time, everything went well. Wait, siren. Brussels, capital city of Europe. All right, let's go. Okay. So beautiful images, great sound, and everything was just there. The movie was done. I mean, the movie was done for words to like talk about a probably six months work. And we really did pick the hardest path, you know? Um, all this to tell a story. I will be making films for as long as I can. So if you want to like be part of the journey, I would love to talk about it. So see you soon.